Hello and welcome to Apex Servers. Today we are going to talk about how to enable Pardot from Salesforce and how does multiple business units of Pardot works. Just to give you a brief introduction about myself, I'm Bhakti Sadavarte. Uh, I'm a Salesforce professional, solution architect at Eternal Solutions, a volunteer career counselor, helping, I, helping IT people in transition and last but not the least, a constant learner. You can connect to me on Twitter or LinkedIn, and I would be happy to answer any of your Pardot queries. Today's agenda is how to enable first Pardot unit from Salesforce. Do you really need multiple Pardot business units? What are the prerequisites of having multiple Pardot business units? And things to remember before you enable multiple Pardot business units. So let's begin with the first discussion about how to enable Pardot in Salesforce. Uh, when you purchase a Pardot, earlier what you would do is you would go to Pardot.com Pardot and you would get Pardot credentials from Pardot support. You will ent enter those credentials and log into Pardot. But now as the Pardot is tightly integrated with Salesforce, you cannot directly log into Pardot without having Salesforce credits. So when you request for a new Pardot org, you will get Salesforce credentials. So you go to Salesforce, login.salesforce.com. And then from Salesforce, you need to enable your Pardot org. Now how you, to do that? You need to go to setup, marketing setup, Pardot setup home, and click on assign admin. Once you do that, you will be redirected to this screen. Here you need to add the name of your business unit and your business unit admin. As soon as you enter these two things and save, a new par.org will be created for you. It will directly be connected with sales cloud. And the sales cloud connector of Pardot will be in the pause state. So don't unpause it till you decide your business unit strategy. As you can see in this org, there are two business units available for Pardot. So what are these business units? Let's try to understand. So Pardot business units are nothing, but they are multiple Pardot orgs or Pardot instances they are connect, that are connected to same Salesforce org. But does your organization needs multiple business units? To handle this scenario, I have come up with a questionnaire. So first you need to check with your sales team. Is your sales data segmented for any strategic or operational purpose? The segmentation may be based on uh, different regions, different product lines, different brands, or any other applicable scenarios. Once you are able to identify this, then you also need to check how your different marketing teams work. Do you have a single marketing team in your organization or multiple marketing teams? Those are operating independently. Once you get the answer of this question, then you need to also assess whether the marketing assets and campaigns are shared between the marketing teams or not. So if the answer of all your questions is yes, there are a high chance that you will need multiple business units in Pardot. So what are the prerequisites of having multiple business units? Business units are available for Pardot advanced and premium edition customers only. For basic editions, you will only get one business unit. 
but for uh, the advanced and premium addition customers you will get multiple business units that is the multiple orgs by default you get two business units with the advanced addition you can also access the business unit feature only in Pardot Lightning app. So in case you are still working in Par in Salesforce Classic, uh, you will not be able to access this feature. Pardot should use V2 connector to connect to Salesforce. For all new orgs that are enabled from Sales Cloud, V2 connector is already in place. But if your Pardot org is an old org which is purchased before february 2019 there are a high chance that you are using v1 connector and you need to upgrade to v2 connector to connect to salesforce from pardot if you have recently purchased pardot and spend out a new org from sales cloud then all the connector settings are already done by the pardot basic setup and you need not to worry about whether you are using v1 connector or not but for all, all old orgs you need to make sure that these three prerequisites are followed also there are few things you should remember before you enable multiple business units or unpause the connector Salesforce connector in Pardot. So once a business unit is created, it cannot be deleted. One lead or contact can only sync to one business unit in Pardot. Thus, if your one lead in Sales Cloud can map to different business units of Pardot, in that case, you will need to have multiple uh leads in sales cloud that is a data duplication would be required in sales cloud also all the campaigns those are managed from salesforce that is a connected campaigns can sync to one business unit only page click on the setup in the quick find box select for par dot and go to marketing setup home click on get started go to manage business units and assign admins click on manage Hope you enjoyed the session and if you want to know more about the business units and how to configure uh, the marketing data sharing settings of business units, look forward to our advanced sessions. Follow us on our Twitter handler, our own website apexrs.com and YouTube channel. Thank you.